It was very funny. Evan Johnson, everybody. Let's hear it, let's hear it, let's hear it, let's hear it. All right, give it up for them one more time, you guys, those buffoons. Uh, so my last name is Johnson, which is not a name that matches my vaguely ethnic eyebrow-mustache combo, I'm aware. Uh, I'm mostly Native American, and uh, people love to ask when I tell them that, like, well, if you're Native American, how's your last name Johnson? How'd that happen? How can you be Native American if your last name, how'd your last name become Johnson if you're Native American? I love to ask those people, how do you think that happened? <laughs> Why don't you look at me in my brown face and tell me how you think that happened? <laughs> you honky honk honk. I can tell you it wasn't one of those <laughs> consensual things. It wasn't. You guys know history, cool. I don't know. Uh, one of my best friends actually he posed this question to me. He, he, he was like, Were you offended as a Native American person that there was a football team called the Redskins? Like, are you glad that they changed their name? Did it offend you that there was a football team called the Redskins? And I was like, I'm much more offended by the fact that you've known me for nearly 15 years and think I give a fuck about sports. <laughs> you guys have known me for what, 15 seconds? You can tell I don't give a fuck about sports. This is not what this jacket implies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he also asked me this question recently. He was like, because he, he's like a Nordic or Swedish, one of those gross ones. And he was like, he, he was like, man, my answers, they were Vikings, man. They could, they could build their own shelter, they could hunt, they could make a fire. Like, I can't do anything. If my ancestors saw my life today, they'd be so ashamed of me. Like, Evan, what do you think your ancestors would think of your life today? And I was like, I'm pretty sure if my native ancestors saw my life today, the first question they'd have is, why the fuck are you friends with so many white people? <laughs> and that'd be the first thing. And I had, a, I had a fellow brown person judging me for having lots of white friends recently. They were like, oh, you're a self-hating brown person because you have so many white friends. I was like, first of all, I am self-hating, but that's not because of my race. It's just depression. That's all that is. <laughs> also, I get to have white friends. I grew up here in Colorado, which today, at its most diverse, is 86% white people. <laughs> it's fucking a lot of white people. Not only that, I grew up in a town called Highlands Ranch. <laughs> Colorado, and it seems like most of you know what that is, but if you don't know what it is, you don't have to know what it is to know it's white as fuck, because the second word in it is ranch. <laughs> That's something white people love to do, live on, and eat. <laughs> okay, so I get to have a friend named Erling. I've earned that. I've earned it. Oh no, man. I, uh, I'm a very liberal guy, but I, there's some, like, I, 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 I liked when they, uh, like, speaking of race and stuff, I liked when they added, like, the, like, like more brown people to Star Wars. I really liked that. But then they just ruined it. Like, they didn't make it, like, like, they, like, they didn't do anything with the characters. And, like, that's almost insulting to a little kid's imagination. Like, as a little kid watching the original Star Wars is, I didn't have to, like, have Han Solo be a Hispanic guy for me to like it, you know? Like, I just imagined either he's Hispanic or I'm white, you know? Like... <laughs> Also, Han Solo deals drugs throughout the galaxy, drives around in a shitbox car, and his best friend's name is Chewy. <laughs> Sounds pretty Hispanic to me. <laughs> oh, no, dude. I, uh, growing up, I learned that my mom was racist. Uh, this is what, because we were uh, Native American and Spanish, and people would come up to her, because she's browner than me, and people come up to her at her job, and they'd be like, are you Mexican in any way? And anytime someone would specifically say, are you Mexican, her response was, fuck you, get the fuck out of my store. I will kick you, I will call the goddamn cops, you're trespassing now, get the fuck out of my, by the way, she didn't own a store, she just worked at Office Depot. <laughs> just kicking people out of Office Depot for asking if she's Mexican. And to reiterate, we're Native American and Spanish. Which fucking, mathematically, that's a fucking Mexican. That's what goes into a Mexican, okay? So not only is my mom a dumb racist, she's a dumb racist Mexican. She's got a little clan hood on top of her sombrero. That's, I, uh, I do have some positive news I want to share with you guys. Uh, I, uh, as of super recently, uh, no longer need to take my antidepressants. I'm done taking them. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's actually because earlier today, I took all of them. So <laughs> don't have to do that anymore. I am blitzed right now, you guys. 
Uh, I don't know. Antidepressants are weird to me because the main side effect of all of them is that they might cause suicidal thoughts, <laughs> which is the opposite of the thing you want to have. Like, nothing else works that way. You would never buy a fire extinguisher if it might be a flamethrower. <laughs> like, <laughs> just logistically, that doesn't make sense to do. Pepper spray would sell way fewer numbers when you sprayed it, your attacker might become faster and better at fighting. <laughs> it's like, oh, what the fuck? Sprayed on myself. Ah, it's pepper spray. Like, it wouldn't be. I'm just saying you don't pay to go to school to make you dumber, right? That's obviously why church is free. <laughs> do I look like an annoying atheist? Do I dress like that? I do. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. I, uh, thinking of how I dress, you might not be able to tell from looking at me, but I am a super, I like shooting guns a lot. I'm very pro-gun control, but I love fucking shooting guns, which is why I hate the gun range, dude. Has anyone here been to the gun range recently? It sucks. It takes all the fun out of having a gun. There's in your face. As soon as you walk through the door, just like, don't point the gun at yourself or other people. Don't point the gun at yourself or other people. Don't fucking point the gun at yourself or other people. I'm like, cool, those are the only two reasons I have this gun. <laughs> yeah, we're still in the depression bit. We thought we weren't. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, I do. I do. Uh, I, I don't want to freak you guys out, and uh, I know I'm the first comic up, but I did uh, a couple months ago. Uh, I did attempt to hang myself, and again, I don't want anybody to worry or feel weird because I obviously ended up, you know, coming. <laughs> it's all good. I hang myself every weekend now. It's pretty awesome. Hit me up, that guy. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Okay, let's talk about how I look. Uh, I'm a very skinny man. It's not good. Uh, like, I'm not, it's not like I've worked for this. Like, every time a woman sees me naked, this is 100% true, without fail, every time a woman sees me naked, they haven't been like, God, I love your body, or like, God, your body's so sexy. But every time they have been like, God, I wish I had your body. <laughs> Not a compliment, ladies, just let you know. I mean, you're like, you know what would make you really attractive is if you didn't have the head of the Tapatio guy. That would be really... I don't know, man. I'm also hairy. Like, I have, like, good hair, but, like, you guys can see, I don't, I don't have, like, a hairy chest, but I do have, like, I'm hair, like, I'm not hairy the way, like, a, like, a, like, a man is hairy, right? I'm hairy the way, like, a, like, a piece of gum that fell on the floor <laughs> is hairy. Like, can't tell where it begins or where it ends. Like, I'll give you some reference. Each of my nipples has a different kind of male pattern baldness. That's <laughs> what I'm working with right now. I'm so hairy, you guys. I have two happy trails, one in the front and one in the back. <laughs> and here's some insider info for you guys. That's not two happy trails. That's just one unhappy U-turn. That's all that is. Yeah, call it Trail of Tears to honor my native heritage. <laughs> And because if you get too close, your eyes will water like it's an onion, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll tell you guys this little story because Father's Day happened recently, or not, who cares? <laughs> it's a nothing holiday. But uh, I did try to be nice to my dad. I te this, is, this is what happened. I texted my dad. I was going over to his place. I was going to surprise him. I was like, hey, Pops, come over with some of your favorite beer and also a summer shandy for you because I knew he also liked summer shandies. And then he responded with just a question mark. And I was like, oh, okay, I mean, I thought you, I thought you liked those. I thought you were into the summer shandies. And he just responded with double question marks. And I was like, oh, I mean, okay, if you don't know what they are, they're delicious, you're gonna love it. And he replied with, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I went back and realized that summer shandy had autocorrected into summer's handy. <laughs> and so I texted him, hey, Pops, coming over some of your favorite beer and a summer's handy for you. <laughs> and he was like, what are you talking about? And my response was, I thought you liked those. I thought you were into that. And then when he was like, who do you, th what, are you what are you talking about? I was like, don't worry, if you don't know what they are, they're delicious. <laughs> Gonna love it. I don't know. I'll tell you guys a couple more awkward things that have happened to me. I tried to uh, flirt with a girl recently. Uh, it was gonna go good, okay? Hypothetically, it was a good flirt. Because the girl was walking towards me with her corgi dog, and I was like, oh my God, your friend is so cute. And she was like, thank you. And what I meant to say was, oh, I was talking to your dog like implying that she's the cute friend, right? Like, I feel like it's a pretty good flirt. Instead, what happened was I was like, hey, like, oh my God, your friend is so cute. And then she was like, thank you. And then I went, I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> and just... 
went back to her dog. <laughs> so I own a cool corgi now. Uh, you guys have been awesome. Give it up for your host, uh, Dan and David. You have a great night. <laughs>